Hello everyone and welcome back to the bass guitar build series. In the last video we got the fretboard radius all straight and ready to be fretted, which is what we're going to do in this episode. Let's go. Before doing any fretting whatsoever, I'm going to get this fretboard completely sanded up to however high these grit go, 400 grit, because that's going to get rid of any small facets left over from the planing and get rid of any tiny patches of tear out that may be left over. I've got a really good finish from the plane as it is, but I need to get rid of those facets still. So I've got a long wooden block here with a bit of cork that has been double sided taped to the top. And I'm just going to wrap sandpaper around this and take this to a nice high shine. Right, so I've made a right old mess everywhere, but look at the finish we have been left with. Woohoo! So that's going from 180 to 240, then 320, then 400 grit, and we have kept the radius all nice and even. My hands are absolutely minging right now. But yeah, I think we'll do a quick clean of the workbench, and then we'll start fretting it. Right, so I'm going to start by drawing a new center line on here. Okay, and then we're going to find where that perpendicular 10th fret is, which is there. And I've got that from the line that I drew up the side earlier. And then I'm going to get the protractor, line it up with 90 degrees along this center line and the bottom part of it in line with that 10th fret. And that will get me a lovely perpendicular line. Okay, so I know that I drew the nut locations and stuff up here, but I'm going to redraw them coming from the 10th fret here just to make sure everything is in alignment because so far I've transferred stuff from the neck to the side and now I'm transferring it back up. There's chances for small misalignments there. So starting fresh from that 10th fret. Stick that there. Right, so now to mark out the frets. Now I need to mark in four millimeters from each side and draw a line that is parallel with the edge of the neck because that's going to be the bottom B string and the top C string. And that is where I've measured all of the fret locations from. Okay, then we can start marking the frets from there. So I'm gonna pop it on the bottom B string location to start with, get it all aligned, and then we're gonna tape it in place with this gorgeous low tack tape. Okay, and start marking them out. Right, so I've just made a practice board to practice my fretting. So there's a very slight radius on this and I've drawn all sorts of lines over it as well. And I'm going to test, firstly, my sawing and secondly, which saw I actually want to use for this. I've got a Japanese saw here, which is in a rip cut pattern and I've got a standard cross cut carcass saw here. I think last time I used this, but I feel like I'm gonna get a bit more control from a Japanese saw. So I'm just gonna see which one works best. it's working quite well with just the Japanese saw, so I think that's what we're going to go for. I mean, this saw has such a thin curve anyway. If it does turn out to be too narrow on the ebony, I can just widen it with this saw later on. Right, it's going to carry on practicing, I think. Right, well, I'm very happy with how that went. So I managed to keep to the lines on all of them, which was very good. So 100% success rate on that. On some of these ones that I started with, the fret did keep bouncing out, but I think that was because my technique of getting it seated down wasn't done correctly. But towards the end, on these final five, got all of them spot on, and the fret was quite difficult to rip out. So it's a little bit um, destroyed at the moment. But yeah, I'm feeling pretty confident, I think, 
we can move on to the neck now. So here we go. Um, right, need to make sure that I don't cut the nut there because that isn't obviously a fret slot. What I'm gonna do, because these frets down the bottom here aren't gonna be used as often as the ones up here, I'm gonna start with these ones because if it does for some reason go a little bit out, I'm not expecting it to, but just in case, it's not gonna affect me that much because I don't do that much down this end of the fretboard. Whew, okay. Oh man, I am scared to start. <laughs> Just drag back. Ooh. Well, I'm moving on to the fretboard now and it has just taken me a solid two minutes to cut this fret slot here. I've got 23 of them left to do. 